Welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we will see how we can create a simple calculator using the C programming language. The calculator that we are creating here, it will work on two numbers and it will support addition, subtraction, multiplication and division operations. So how this program will work is first it will ask the user to enter the operator. If the user wants to perform addition, then he can enter plus. For subtraction, he can enter minus. For multiplication, he has to enter the star symbol. And for the division operation, he has to enter the division operator. After that, we will ask the user to enter the two numbers on which uh, he wants to perform whatever the operation he has selected. And here the user can enter the numbers with the decimal places. And after that, we will perform that particular operation that the user wants to do on those two numbers. And we will display the result. So what I have done here is I have included stdio.h header file to this program so that we can use some of the built-in functions like printf, scanf. And then we have the main function, which is the entry point of our program from our perspective. So the first thing that we do here is we will declare the variables that we need. As I said before, in this program, we will ask the user to enter two numbers. So to store those two numbers, we need a couple of variables. I'm going to take double as the data type and I'm going to call these variables as num1 and num2. Okay. After that, we need to store the operation that the user wants to perform. That is a plus minus multiplication or division symbol. So to store that, I'm going to take a character variable and I'm going to call this as operator. Okay. Now what we can do is we can ask the user to enter the operator. So I'm going to use the printf function and I'm going to display the message enter the operator and we will display the options also plus minus multiplication and division. Now after seeing this message, the user is going to enter plus minus multiplication or the division operator depending on whatever he wants to do. And we can read that operator by using the scanf function. And here I'm going to use the former specifier as percentage C because we are reading a character and we will store that in this operator variable. So now we know which operation the user wants to perform. Now we have to read two numbers and we have to store them in this num1 and num2. Again, I'm going to use the printf function in here and I'm going to say enter the two numbers one by one. So the user can enter two numbers at one go. And after that, we can use the scanf function and we can read the numbers. So here I'm going to use the format specifiers as percentage LF because we are reading a value of type double space percentage LF. And after that, we will store the values in this num1 and num2 variables. So we will provide the address of num1 and num2. Okay, so now we know the operation that the user wants to perform and also the numbers on which the user wants to perform that particular operation. So now here we will use the switch statement and the expression of this switch statement will be the value that the user has entered for this operator variable. So it will be operator. Now every case of this switch statement can contain a particular operation. And uh, in that case, we will perform that particular operation and we will display the result. So the first case here we will have for the addition operation. If the user has entered plus, then what we want to do now, what we have to do is we have to perform the addition operation and we have to display the result. So I'm going to use the printf function in here and I'm going to display the result like num1 plus num2 equal to result. So here I'm going to use the format specifier percentage LF plus percentage LF equal to percentage LF. So now we need to provide the values for these uh, placeholders or the format specifiers. So first we will provide the value of num1 variable. Then we will provide the value of num2 variable. So it will display num1 plus num2 equal to the result of num1 plus num2. So now we have to perform num1 plus num2. So if the user is going to enter, let us say 10 and 20, this will display 10 plus 20 is equal to 30. 
after that we can use the break statement now similarly we have to write the code for subtraction multiplication and division operation i'm going to copy and paste this code in here i'm going to change the operator that is a minus and here we will display num1 minus num2 equal to num1 minus num2 okay that's it similarly we can write code for the multiplication so star symbol num1 multiplied by num2 and here also num1 multiplied by num2 now we will write the case for the division operation so it will be case and the case value will be the division operator now while performing this division operation we have to check whether we are in the situation of divide by 0 and here while performing addition we are doing num1 plus num2 for subtraction we are doing num1 minus num2 for multiplication we are writing num1 multiplied by num2 so similarly if you go with this flow then for the division operation we will write num1 divided by num2 so here we have to check whether this num2 variable is containing 0 or not while performing the division operation if it is containing 0 then we will say divide by 0 situation if it is not containing 0 then we will perform the division operation and we will display the result so here i'm going to use the if conditional statement to check the value present in this num2 variable so we will check whether num2 is containing a value which is equal to 0 here this double equal to is the comparison operator if num2 is containing 0 then we will display a message stating that divide by 0 situation okay if it is not containing 0 then for that we will have the else part then what we do is we will perform the division operation and we will display the result so i'm going to copy this printf and break i'm going to paste it in here and we will change this symbol to division operation and also we will perform num1 divided by num2 okay so now what we have done is we have written the cases for addition subtraction multiplication and division similarly if you want to include any other operations then you can include that for example you can include the uh, modulus operator to get the reminder value you know you can add that but here i'm gonna stop with these four cases now apart from these four operators the user can enter some other symbols for that we will display a default message stating that invalid symbol and here before writing the next case one thing that we have to do is we have to remove this break statement from this else block and we have to write it after the else block because we want to stop this with statement after executing these statements of this case if you write it inside the else block then it will be used whenever we are in this else block so we're gonna write it outside the if else okay so now we will have the default case so it will be default and in this default case we will just display a message stating that invalid operator so I'm going to use the printf statement and I'm going to say invalid operator. Okay. So now we have written the code in here. Let's run this. Enter the operator. I'm going to say plus. Enter the two numbers one by one. I'm going to enter 10. Then I can separate the next number by using a space or a tab or a new line. For new line, I have to use the enter button. I'm going to use space. I'm going to enter 20 it will display 10 plus 20 is equal to 30 and after that I'm going to run it one more time this time I'm going to say subtraction um, 20 and 10 it will display the result as 10 and if you notice the values are displayed with the six decimal places if you want you can control that for example if you want to display the numbers with um, two decimal places then you can uh, specify that in this format specifier you just have to write in percentage dot 2lf which will display the number with two decimal places for every format specifier used in this printf so i'm going to do that modification now now i'm going to save the program and i'm going to run it 
this time I'm going to say multiplication enter the numbers 10 and uh, I'm going to use the enter button to separate the number I'm going to enter 30 now you guys can see uh, the numbers are displayed with uh, two decimal places let's run it one more time and this time we will say division operation I'm going to enter the first number as 10 second number as 0 it will say divide by 0 situation let's run it one more time and uh, division operation 10 and uh, 20 it will display 0 0.50 let's run it one more time and this time I'm going to enter let us say the modulus operator and it will say enter two numbers 10 and 20 it will say invalid operator now here if you want you can add more functionality for example you can add the modulus operator actually I want you to add that modulus operator to this calculator's functionality and I want you to post your code in the comment section I'll take a look at it so this is it guys this is how we can write a very simple uh, calculator program using C programming language if you like this video hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching I'll see you later in the next video.